There was only one place on the North American continent where the expansion of the 19th century frontier was not only halted, but temporarily reversed. That place was in Texas, the tribe that managed not only to resist colonization, but was also a powerful key figure at that time, was the Comanches. Within their culture, boys learned to hunt and ride at a very early age, and they would become warriors in their mid-teens. Their incredible military mastery derived from the horse. They were the tribe that could do more with the horse than any other tribe could. They used horses to hunt buffalo and wage war. Comanches were incredibly warlike people. At the height of their power, they swept everyone off the southern plains. They conducted raids on both other native tribes and settlers. During these raids, all enemy adult males were killed. That was one of the reasons why natives always fought to the death. Small children were killed as well as babies. A lot of the children in the three to 10 year range were often taken as captives. The women were often raped and either killed or taken captive. Captives would be taken back to camp and tortured. Tortures include cutting off parts of the body, torture by fire, and gang raping women. Many other tribes completely abandoned the Southern Plains rather than continuously fight with them. The Tonkawa tribe was nearly exterminated by the Comanches, and some of the leftovers of that tribe later became scouts of the United States Army, helping to track down their arch enemies. Long before the conflict with American settlers in Texas, Comanches made life miserable there, not only for the Spanish colonials, but also for the Plains Apaches. The Comanches rode the Southern Plains to hunt buffalo and raid. The Lapan Apaches took the full force of their attacks and were driven from the Texas Plains before the first Anglo-American settlers came. They were forced from their original homeland by the Comanches and ended up settling in New Mexico, Arizona, and far west Texas. On the other hand, the Kiowas formed a strategic alliance with the Comanches, often warring and hunting with them. The first contact between the Spanish settlers and the Comanches happened in early 1758. A large group of mounted natives, unknown to the Spanish, drove off the herd of horses that grazed between San Antonio and the mission the Spaniards had built for converting Apaches. Seeing that the Spanish and the Apaches were now on good terms, 2,000 Comanches raided the Mission San Saba, now occupied by 35 men. The raiders, Comanches and their allies, wore red and black face paint and were armed with European armor and muskets, as well as their own lances, bows and arrows. The two parties collided. Grossly outnumbered by the natives, the Spaniards were slaughtered. The Comanches cut the scalps from the dead soldiers, waving their bloody trophies. They then proceeded to loot and burn the mission. That was the first of many conflicts between the Comanches and the settlers. In the following years, all the people in those settlements knew what a Comanche raid was and what it meant. The Comanches raided for horses, mules, and captives across the Southwest in the 18th and early 19th centuries but until the 1820s, the Spanish and Mexican settlements and ranches in Texas were their principal targets. In 1836, a nine-year-old girl named Cynthia Ann Parker was kidnapped during a Comanche raid in North Texas. She was strapped onto the back of a horse and taken north back into the plains where the powerful tribe lived. Parker later became a full member of the Comanches she eventually married a highly respected Comanche chief and gave birth to three children, including Juana Parker, who would grow up to become the last free and one of the greatest Comanche leaders. In the mid-1800s, they began to raid deep into Mexican territory, even coming close to Mexico City. They would raid under the Comanche moon, meaning they preferred to raid at night, in full moon, so that they would have better visibility. The most famous Comanche raid is the Great Raid of 1840. The raid came as a retaliation for the Council House fight. 
a tragic incident that occurred in San Antonio in the spring of 1840, when Texas officials attempted to arrest a Comanche peace delegation while the two sides were attempting to make peace and exchange captives. Fighting broke out and 35 Comanches, including 12 chiefs, were killed. The remaining 30 Comanches, primarily women and children, were imprisoned by the Texans. Seven Texans were also killed in the melee and eight were wounded. As a response, a few months later, the Comanches launched a retaliatory raid. An estimated 500 warriors led by Chief Buffalo Hump made a sweep through South Texas, completely devastating the towns of Victoria and Linville, killing 25 Texans while stealing and burning settlements. During and after the Civil War, things were chaotic on the frontier. On one side, there was an expanding industrialized civilization trying to expand westward. On the other, there was vast land ruled by fierce native tribes unwilling to subdue. Just how bad things were could be seen in the number of settlers who had abandoned their lands. The frontier, carried west with so much sweat and blood, was now rolling backward, retreating. The reason for this reversal of what previously and elsewhere had seemed inevitable was the fierce war-making ability of a relatively small number of Comanches who terrorized the Southwest, forcing those who'd settled the lands west of San Antonio to return to the relative safety of what was then the largest city in Texas. After years of such depredations, the U.S. Army in 1871 sent Civil War veteran Colonel Ronald Sladell McKenzie to put an end to the resistance. His mission was to defeat the Comanches who controlled the area stretching from west of San Antonio and up the uncharted Llano Estacado into what is today the Texas Panhandle. It's important to mention that the Comanches relied vastly on the buffalo for food and supplies, knowing that the settlers started to exterminate the buffalo. With the eradication of their primary food source, they were very weakened. In a series of bloody conflicts over the next few years known as the Red River War, the U.S. Army managed to defeat the Comanches and the Kiowas, therefore forcing them into a reservation in Indian Territory, today Oklahoma. Thank you for watching. If you like the content, please consider sharing the video and supporting the channel on Patreon. We've also launched our merch, so make sure to check it out. The link is in the description.